Hi Year 4 and welcome to the third part of our sketching. We're looking at the bottom left hand corner of the sketch today and the first thing we're going to do is look at drawing the image down into that third quarter. So you can see here on mine I've looked at the eye section first and I'm bringing that section down so that we're linking those quarters together. I want us to look at the outline so you can see here I'm just showing with my pencil going around the outline of the shape of the gorilla's face. Just doing that first will help you feel the lines. You can then go onto your piece of paper and you can get those lines and outlines into place. With your pencil remember don't press too hard. If you do you're going to really struggle if you need to rub out so make sure you Press quite gently and let your wrist be really fluid as you do your lines. You can see with my line here, I'm carefully doing the shape using quite little lines as I go because that helps to draw the shape down. It doesn't have to just be in one go because when you're doing your cross hatching and your hatching later on putting the details in, all of those little lines will be covered up anyway. So I'm just drawing the bottom part of the face now and then I'll go in to put the details in. The next part here is looking at where the nostrils go. So I'm comparing to the bridge of the nose as to whereabouts the nostrils will go to make sure that they're in scale with the rest of the sketch. Again, just really gentle lines to get that shape in. I've started next to the line here because it's easier to see for scale rather than starting right in the middle of the page. You can see it's a really gentle curve up for both the nostrils. Now I've got these outlines in place and I can see that I've got the shape of the face right, I can now go in to add a lot of the detail. So the next part of the video is going to be speeded up so that you can see that. So now that I've got that detail in, I'm using cross hatching now for that very dark section at the bottom. I've made sure I've got those individual hairs in for the lighter sections and where you can see on the chin the hairs. And then my cross hatching is going into those sections to make sure that I've got the darker part, but without scribbling. So keep up with the, with the detail and the hard work. It's really worth the cross hatching. When you stand back and look at your piece, it will give the idea of the different shapes of the face and the shadows being formed if you use your cross hatching rather than just scribbling. So keep at it. It's really worth it. So my cross hatching is pretty much complete now. I'm just looking at this bottom corner where I might have to go over the top of my cross hatching again to make it a little bit darker. I'm just going through the section now on the chin where the hairs come into the darker part just to darken up a little bit with cross hatching over the top. 
and just putting those hairs into the cross hatching as well for that detail. Once you've done that, you will have your finished three quarters. And there we go, so I've finished my sketching now, just checking the original piece, and there's my finished third quarter now. So next week, we'll do the last part. <laughs>